Okay, welcome back to The Code Room, and today's episode is all about how computer programs work. Okay, so just a high level overview of something that you guys are probably very familiar with already. Okay, so this is a diagram that I use um, quite a bit to explain this. Okay, so if you think about uh, some of your programs like Microsoft Word, Adobe Acrobat Reader, or um, you know, Adobe Photoshop, or, or Notepad, or any of these programs, these are programs that are on your computer. And what they do is they, they can create files and they can open files. And when they open files, they kind of look at the file and then kind of present it in a way that you can interact with it or you can read it. And that's how uh, most computer programs work. Let's take Microsoft Word, for example. Okay, so here we have Microsoft Word here on the right. And what it can do is it can understand uh, certain types of files, okay? So uh, one type of file that it understands is the docx file. I mean, this used to be called the dot doc file, and now it's the docx file, right? So let's open up Microsoft Word here. Okay, so I have Microsoft Word here, now I'm on a Mac, uh, it would be very similar on, on PC. Um, now what I can do is I can open a document, right? So I can go File, Open, and I have a test document on my desktop here, so I can open up this test document, and then it opens up the document in a way that I can read it and start to interact with it, right? So what the pro computer program did there was it basically took a look at this test document dot docx, okay, and it read through it and then presented it on screen for me and now I can kind of interact with it or I can read it or I can do whatever with it, right? And this is how most computer programs work. It's a program that opens up a file and then kind of goes through that file and presents it to the user, okay? So that's how Microsoft Word works, that's how Adobe Acrobat works, that's how Adobe Photoshop works, um, Notepad, all these different programs, that's generally how they work. They take a file and interpret it. There's another program that you guys probably use very regularly that does the exact same thing in principle. There's a, there's a little bit to it that's a little bit different, but in general, it's doing the exact same thing. So, And what that program is, is a browser, okay? So Microsoft Word opens up DocX, and browsers like Chrome open up files, uh, open up HTML files, among other types of files, okay? Now, if you're not familiar with Chrome, um, you might be more familiar, familiar with something like Internet Explorer, or Safari, um, or Microsoft Edge, or um, Firefox is another one. Uh, Chrome is just another one of these uh, kinds, kinds of programs we call browsers, okay? So what browsers do, very similar to other, all the other programs you're used to, is they open up certain types of files, they kind of interpret them, and then present them to the user, okay? Now, this is probably uh, something you're not used to doing with a browser. You're probably not used to opening files in a browser, but they can do that. So let me show you how to do that. So, you know, I have uh, Google Chrome here open, okay? So the same thing is, you can do this with Firefox, you can do it with Internet Explorer, okay? And I can do file open, okay? Now, it might be a little bit different on different browsers, but you can basically do the same thing with all of them, okay? So I can go file, open file, and just like how Microsoft Word uh, can open up docx files, um, browsers can open up their own types of files, and one of the files they interpret is called an HTML file, okay? So I have a test file here, and I can open that up, and you'll see what it does. It opens up the file, and it presents it to the user in, in a kind of in a, in, a, in a way that I can understand it, right? So if I kind of look at these side by side, let's see here Microsoft Word. Okay, let me open up that file again. Okay, so this is really very similar to what a browser is doing. So on the right here, we have Microsoft Word that's opening up this test document, and on the left here, we have a browser that's opening up uh, opening up a web page. Okay, it's opening up an HTML file, all right? So a browser um, really can be seen as doing very similar to what other programs um, do. So don't, don't forget that piece, okay? There's a little, there's a slight difference when it comes to when you browse websites, and that has to do with web hosting, but we'll talk about that in another episode. So from this episode, all you need to know is that browsers can open up files, interpret them, and present them to the user, just like any other program you use. All right, we'll see you in the next episode.